hello dear students in this video i will continue the next part of human reproduction so let us move to the details so today i am going to explain about accessory ducts of male reproductive system the male reproductive system it consists of four parts the primary sex organs male gonads they are testis along with the testis some ducts are associated they are accessory ducts and accessory glands one more part is external genitalia so today in this video let us move to the details of accessory ducts of the male reproductive system why the accessory ducts are necessary why they are associated with the male gonads that is testis accessory ducts are involved in the transportation of sperms which are produced in the seminiferous tubules from the testis to the urethra for their release outside the body the main function of accessory ducts what they are doing these are the ducts associated with testis their function is to transport the sperms which are produced in the seminiferous tubules to the urethra then finally they are released from the body whatever the sperms are produced within the testis that is seminiferous tubules they are carried to the urethra to release from the body that transport is carried out by the accessory ducts there are four accessory ducts in the male reproductive system they are reed testis then vasa afferentia one more is epididymis then vas deferens vas afferentia and for vas deferens just you write it vas deferens first one is reed testis second one is vas afferentia third one is epididymis fourth one is vas deferens and it is continuing with the ejaculatory duct so let us move to what are the functions of these accessory ducts reed testis these are the ducts that connect seminiferous tubules of the testis to the vasa afferentia so after this one i will show one image there you will get the clear idea what is the function of reed testis they are the ducts which connect seminiferous tubules of the testis with vasa afferentia the function is connecting the seminiferous tubules to the vasa afferentia and this function is carried out by reed testis vasa afferentia these ducts leave the testis and open into epididymis that is located in the posterior surface of each testis finally the accessory duct which is leaving the testis is nothing but vasa afferentia see in the male reproductive system the scrotum contains two testis and both the testis are having reed testis vasa afferentia epididymis vas deferens and ejaculatory duct individual testis is having all these accessory ducts so here the duct which is leaving the testis is nothing but vasa afferentia and it is in continuation with the epididymis <laughs> epididymis is located on the posterior surface of each testis and opens into the last accessory duct that is vas deferens among all the accessory ducts of male reproductive system epididymis is a highly coiled structure later i will explain about this one 
it is highly coiled structure it is located along the posterior surface of each testis that means the entire length of testis is covered by epididymis and finally it opens into the vas deferens vas deferens is the duct that ascends into the abdominal cavity and loops over urinary bladder it receives a duct from seminal vesicle and open into urethra as ejaculatory duct so finally vas deferens it as ascends into the abdominal cavity and it forms a loop over urinary bladder and this vas deferens it receives the duct from seminal vesicle and finally that opens into urethra as ejaculatory duct and ejaculatory duct it store and transport the sperms from the testis to the outside through urethra so what are the things you need to remember finally the sperms are released outside the body of male through the urethra and the storage of the sperm it occurs in the ejaculatory duct ejaculatory duct receives the sperms through the vas deferens and vas deferens is connected to epididymis epididymis is connected to vasa efferentia and vasa efferentia is connected to reet testis reet testis are connected to seminiferous tubules where the sperms are produced during spermatogenesis so like this the sperms which are produced inside the seminiferous tubules they are first released into reet testis then to the vas afferentia then epididymis vas deferens ejaculatory duct finally through the urethra they are released outside the body of male so these are the accessory ducts associated with male reproductive system so in the next slide here you can see the image but before that what is urethra urethra is a thin muscular tube which originates from urinary bladder then it passes through the penis to its external opening called urethral meatus so urethra it is a small muscular tube from which structure it is arising it is arising from urinary bladder then passes through the penis which is external genitalia of male reproductive system and finally it opens through the opening called urethral meatus so like this the sperm passes from one duct to another reet testis vasa afferentia epididymis vas deferens ejaculatory duct urethra and urethral meatus which is the external opening of urethra so here in the diagram you can see what are the parts that are associated with the testis so this structure this represents reet testis where every seminiferous tubule located in the testicular lobule is connected to reet testis here this structure represents reet testis reet testis are connected to vasa afferentia all the vasa afferentia are finally opening into the long folded structure highly coiled structure it is epididymis and epididymis is connected to vas deferens and this is finally joining with the duct of seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct so the duct which is coming out of the testis is vasa afferentia it is joining to form epididymis 
epididymis is connected to vasa difference so first accessory duct is reet testis vasa afferentia epididymis and vasa difference so here is the very important diagram that you have to make practice for five mark question the diagrammatic view of male reproductive system so this is a very important diagram so here you can see all the parts of male reproductive system these are the two testes from the testes the structures you can see are reet testes these thin tube like structures represent vasa afferentia all of them have joined to form a coiled structure epididymis from the epididymis a long tube is running out which is vas difference this vas difference has joined with the duct of seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct here it is urinary bladder from the urinary bladder in the middle a thin tube arises it is called urethra and this urethra is passing through the external genitalia of the male reproductive system called penis so this is the diagrammatic representation of male reproductive system that you need to practice very important question for the annual exam it is 5 mark question so what are the accessory ducts what are the different accessory ducts of male reproductive system reet testis vasa afferentia epididymis and vas difference finally this vas difference run into abdominal cavity it joins with the duct of seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct where the sperms are stored and finally these sperms are released through the urethra the opening of the urethra is called so here urethral meatus and through this urethral meatus the sperms are released outside the male body these are the parts that you have to remember i hope it is clear thank you